Today we'll be demonstrating Hooke's law, which describes the relationship between the force applied to a spring and its extension. This experiment is a fundamental part of understanding elasticity and spring mechanics. Let's start by looking at the equipment we need. We have a clamp stand, clamps, boss heads, a spring, a set of masses, a mass hanger and a ruler. Make sure your ruler is fixed vertically and that the 0cm mark is at the bottom of the spring when it's hanging without any additional masses. The mass hanger and masses we are using today each have a mass of 50 grams, which we will need to convert to kilograms for our calculations. So 50 grams is 0.05 kilograms. To find the force applied by the masses, which is their weight, we use the formula weight equals mass multiplied by gravitational field strength. The gravitational field strength is approximately 9.8 newtons per kilogram, but we will be using 10 newtons per kilogram for simplicity. When we multiply 0.05 kilograms by 10 newtons per kilogram, the weight of each mass is 0.5 newtons. To avoid systematic errors, it is important to align the bottom of the spring with the 0 cm mark on the ruler to measure the extension accurately. This step is crucial to ensure our measurements are correct. We'll start adding masses to the spring and record the extension each time. We'll show the results in a table on the screen. Notice that the results differ from the position of the arrow on the screen. This is an example of a parallax error. This occurs when the position of the observer's eye is not directly level with the point of measurement, which in our case is the bottom of the spring coil. When your eye is not level with the bottom of the spring coil, you might read the ruler at an angle. This can cause you to record the wrong extension value because the apparent position of the bottom of the spring coil changes depending on your viewing angle. Next, we'll plot our results on a graph. On the x-axis, we have the force in newtons, and on the y-axis, we have the extension in meters. Remember to convert the extension from centimeters to meters for our calculations. We plot the points and draw the line of best fit. Notice that our line of best fit does not go through the origin. This is because there might be some initial tension on the spring or slight inaccuracies in measuring the extension. To find the spring constant k, we need the gradient of our line of best fit. Using the triangle method, we can calculate the gradient as rise over run. Make sure this is larger than half of the graph to get full marks. In this experiment, if the rise is 0.11 meters and the run is 3 newtons, the gradient is 0.036 recurring meters per newton. Since Hooke's law is force equals spring constant times extension, we actually need the spring constant in newtons per meter. The gradient we calculated is in meters per newton, so we need to take the reciprocal to get spring constant. 
So spring constant equals 1 divided by the gradient. This means our spring constant is 27.3 newtons per meter. And that's how we determine the spring constant using Hooke's law. By carefully measuring and plotting our results, we can accurately calculate the properties of a spring. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more science tutorials. Thank you.